All right. Um, so here's the element. So you just kind of get an idea of what we're looking for. I want you guys to use up the space as much as you possibly can in each square to show kind of like a little mini piece of artwork that explains each of those words. So anyways, um, the other one you guys are going to do is on the principles of design. So we're going to quickly just talk over these again if you for some reason can't access the PowerPoint. All right, um, one of the principles of design is balance. So there's symmetrical balance and there's also asymmetrical balance. And um, I like to think of a, a seesaw with it. So like I can do something symmetrically balanced, like if I, I don't know, if I draw a flower over here and a flower equally balanced on the other side. You know, it's totally up to you what you're gonna do. And so, um, yeah, I'm just kind of making this up as we go. Okay, um, there is also a pattern. Pattern is a repetition of an element of art. So, let's see, a checkerboard, for example, is a pattern, or um, let's see, I don't know, even if I do something very simple like this, where it's a repetition. And I just fill up the whole page using a pattern like this, that will work. Okay. Um, there's also rhythm. Rhythm and pattern are close to the exact same thing. Pattern is a repetition, and rhythm also has a repetition of an element, but it is irregular. So for example, um, oh, let's see, I'm gonna make this up. That I'm gonna, let's say I'm making a series of lines and dots. Oh, that's what I probably should have done for pattern, actually, now I'm thinking about it. So I have a line and a dot, a line and a dot, but let's say they start to space out differently, where suddenly there's a space here. Maybe this gets a lot closer. So I have a like a repetition of line dot line dot line dot etc. Um, or line dot line, line dot line, line dot line, excuse me, but it's irregular in its spacing, it's not consistent, and that's what's gonna create a rhythm. Okay, and I'll finish this one up a little bit later. Okay, another one is um, movement. So movement is how, you know, your eye follows something, like let's say um, I'm gonna draw a person here and her hair is kind of going all over the place, for example. So my eye is following this, is what's happening. You can create movement with line. You can um, create it with value changes, etc. All this hair blowing in the wind. Anyways, and we'll finish that one later. Okay, another one is, let's see, emphasis or focal point. Um, so what can you do to make something stand out differently from another? So maybe I can do a bunch of circles or something. And right now, one's not standing out from another one but I can make it stand out by um, using a contrasting of colors, values, etc. So for example, if I color one of these red, my eye is gonna immediately go to that red one. So there's an emphasis happening now. Okay, another one is, let's see, we already talked about balance, contrast. Zoom out just a little bit. So contrast means differences. So differences of value, colors, etc. 
like a yin yang symbol is a very perfect symbol that has high contrast it's black and white um, let's see I'm trying to think of uh, I don't know maybe if I draw a pair I'm trying to think of something here and um, it's a very hairy pair and maybe the contrast I can have next to it is a very smooth background so I got something very rough versus very something very smooth or I can create contrasting colors like make a pair of yellow oh I lost my yellow compared to a purple background so I'll color this in purple pretend the yellow pair is yellow I didn't realize I didn't have my yellow pencil with me okay lots of contrast happening in this one okay and last one is unity or harmony so unity is where something is consistently the same throughout the entire thing like let's say um, I'm gonna draw another pair for the heck of it and let's say I draw the pair using just dashed lines and only dashed lines So that's what's unifying it. Um, if you can get access to the PowerPoint, I, I try to go a little bit into Unity. Um, I don't know, maybe this pair is sitting on a plate. But everything is a dashed line. And maybe I can like uh, color everything blue. So the, chair is, the pair is blue, the plate's blue, the background is blue. That's what's going to unify it. So just like the elements of design, I want you guys to create a little tiny piece of artwork for all of these. Um, and then hopefully, just depending how quickly everybody um, gets with this, we'll be moving on to the hexaplexagon soon. Okay, and I'm just going to try to finish this up here. Or I'll finish it up in a later video. Ooh, I can't, maybe I'll leave the plate white. I like that. All right.